Hello, today I'm going to do an integral problem that requires a little bit of later intuition. Uh, it's different than other problems, that's why it looking pretty simple. Uh, and about halfway through you'll see why it's different. So, this is the problem right here. And it's the integral of sine of x times e of x. And we, this is an integration by parts, so we'll have to use this formula. So, for integration by parts, uh, we set one of these things equal to be u and one of these things equal to be db. Then we make a chart u, du, v, and dv. So the goal with integration by parts though is to make whatever you set u to be that when you take the derivative it gets simpler. Well, out of these two, when you take the derivative of this, you get cosine, and the derivative of this, you get e to the x. So this is much simpler than that. So we're going to set u to be e of x. And the derivative of that is e to the x dx. And then we set sine of x to be dv. So that means that would be sine of x, and this will have to include this dx. So this will be sine of x dx. And when you integrate that, you get negative cosine of x. OK, so now we start using this equation. You do u times v. So the integral of this, u and dv equals, let's do this in a different color, u times v. So we'll say negative e to the x cosine x minus integral of v du. So minus the integral of negative e which will make this positive so we can just say this is e to x cosine x dx okay so now we have another integral that requires integration by parts this is why it gets intuitive intuitive sorry it's because it requires a whole nother application of integration by parts in one problem. And you'll see, there's a tricky way to solve this. But I'm going to rewrite the whole thing now. So I'm going to say the integral of sine of x is writing on a slant. Sine of x times e of x, or e of x dx equals negative e to the x cosine of x plus the integral of e to the x cosine x dx. Okay, now let's uh, integration by parts on this. So we have to set one thing to be u and one thing to be dv. Well, with problems like these, or you have to do it twice, you have to be consistent. So since e to the x was u before, we can set, we have to set this to be u again. So this will be u, and then this will be dv. Make a chart. So u is e to the x, so du is e to the x dx, v, well we need to integrate, so cosine of x dx is db, you integrate that, you get sine of x, okay, so we plug into the equation again. Okay, so all of this will be replaced, so let me box this. 
this is going to be replaced down here so let me rewrite the whole thing so integral of sine of x times e to the x dx equals negative e cosine x negative e to the x times cosine x plus and now everything in this box is going to be replaced by u times v so I'm gonna put parentheses so u times v so we get e to the x sine x minus and then integral of v du the integral of sine of x times e to the x dx okay so now we're this far and you notice we have this again but there is a way to solve this without uh, doing another integration by parts so let's distribute this plus sign so if we distribute that plus sign we see let's rewrite this I'll make it blue again integral sine of x I'll write it faster e to the x dx equals negative e to the x cosine x now distributing that plus sign plus e to the x sine x minus because when you uh, distribute the plus to a minus it stays minus minus integral of sine x times e to the x dx now there's something interesting here if you notice this and this are the same and this is a minus sign so we know we can get rid of it on this side by adding it so let's add that to both sides so we add it over here plus this plus sine of x integral e to the x dx those go away now we have to add it on this side too plus sine of x integral times e to the x dx and when you add two of them together it's the same thing as just having two of them so we can say now coming to the finale I will erase this so that got cancelled out but now we have two on the left Oops. so seeing how we have two now we can just write two in front and now we have two but we don't want that two here so we divide both sides by two all those cancel and then you get that so your final answer will be the integral of sine of x times e to the x dx equals negative e times cosine of x plus e of x times sine of x all over the horrible line another horrible line but it's better too so yeah if you type this into a calculator or like Wolfram math you will get this so that it's a lot different than most problems that's why I like it and it's pretty fun thanks for watching